Hello, what is going on, Button Mashers? It has been a while since I've done a video, but I have promised a Brightwing video a long time ago, so we're gonna do one really quick. You gotta love the Fairy Dragon, man. She is quite a pain to deal with, especially against melee assassins, but can be very, very helpful for your teammates, right? Um, a lot of people that have to deal with anyone that could be diving on them, such as a Vala, a False Dad, heck, even other supports that can dive very, very quickly to someone that can put out damage really quick, can really benefit from a Brightwing being with them just because of her abilities to polymorph, the pixie dust. Uh, pretty darn strong. Now, there is some worry around Brightwing. When you look at her actual just straight healing numbers, she puts out a lot of healing in terms of area effect, but it's a sustained healing that comes from her passive smoothing mist and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we actually hop into the game um, but it isn't really that reliable especially against burst so you see a lot of players a little bit afraid to play with brightwing but we saw actually in the america's championships that brightwing's picked up and boy was it very effective iacona man really showed off some cool stuff we played with a couple of builds and i also pointed the talents that iacona played with that really helped out his team as he was able to actually um, combine Illidan and Brightwing together with, of course, more support uh, to really put a lot of aggression on the opposing team. Uh, as we load this map here, it would appear that the Haunted Mines does not react very well to uh, potatoes. The, uh, the game is not loading quite yet, but we'll go in. One thing to be aware of with Brightwing is her global presence is very, very strong just because of her phase shift, which is her mount ability, right? She can't actually hop onto a horse or a unicorn or a flying carpet, whatever you use. Um, she actually has the ability to teleport to any ally anywhere on the map. Um, back in the Tech Alpha, I think it was actually set to where she could uh, go to minions, but that was uh, deemed a little overpowered, and I think I actually agreed with that as well. Uh, so it's been nerfed to where she can only just go to heroes. So it's been like that for about a year now, and it seems to be very, very nice for her. So Get ready for let's hop heroes. into the game right here. One of the first talents that you're seeing a lot of players pick up is a uh, Hyper Shift here. Soothing Mist reduces Phase Shift cooldown. Every time you heal a hero with Soothing Mist, reduce the cooldown of Phase Shift by 2 seconds. Naturally, Phase Shift, which is a Z here, is 45 seconds. So if you can get a couple of nice procs off being near an ally, you can get this little maneuver here that allows you to teleport to people to really stack up pretty quickly. So we're going to pick that up. At level 1, you can pick up Bribe on some maps, however... Meh. Um... Brightwing doesn't have as much lane presence as she used to be. She took a couple of nurse a long time ago when her talents got changed a little bit, and so it's actually kind of hard to hold a lane as her as a support. You can soak the experience, but you're not going to do a lot of pushing, right? She doesn't do that much damage, so um, we don't see many people grab that anymore, unless you're on a map like Dragonshire, uh, where you can really get like a four giant push going in the bottom lane, or potentially Guard of Terror, where you just want to get some pressure on the map. Um, usually, Hyper Shift seems to be the way to go for a lot of people. Uh, as Brightwing, because you don't have a lot of movement, you need to... Wow, they have a bot. That must have been the guy with the computer. We're going to go ahead and kill this guy. Um, that was a polymorph ability that we just used, by the way. The W turns them into a scorpion, uh, a pig. I think there's a sheep animation. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. And the third ability is going to be pixie dust, which you want to put on your assassins, if possible, whenever a full engagement comes in. Uh, or even potentially a <laughs> gazlo that gets caught by a Sonya. As Brightwing, I would really, really recommend, one, you stay near your teammates, and B, you're getting auto attacks in a lot here. Um, I see a lot of Brightwing players that kind of play like this. They're in the very, very far back line, which makes sense. Um, but Brightwing has a lot of tools that can get her out of a fight if need be. She can save her teammates pretty well. There's nothing wrong with using the range that you have available to you to really walk up and put damage on towers, opposing heroes, uh, minion waves, anything. Be effective and be aggressive. You're going to sustain a lot of damage. Just make sure you're not in a position where you're going to get bursted. If you're playing against like a Jaina maybe or like a Kael'thas, uh, potentially play a little bit safer. But look at this. We can take these trades. Look at that. Walk up here, put some damage down, and you're going to heal it with a moving mist down here, which again is their passive that heals um, over time. And if you stay near your teammates too, they get the benefit as well. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next thing I would recommend. Oh, oh let's be careful here. 
Um, you can actually stop Tychus' overkill or anything because of the Polymorph. Um, Polymorph is amazing against channeled abilities, by the way. Ravenous Spirit. Uh, we're going to let Rainer and them go in first, and then we'll head down. And then we're going to find Sonya, because she's going to do the most damage uh, for us walking in because of her slam. We found her. We are now keep Rainer alive. We're going to try and stay near him. And we're trying to stay out of the overkill ability. And look at that. You just support whoever you can. Keep Rainer alive. We took out the important factor that does the most burst damage, which was Sonya because of her slam, and we were good to go. Once she goes in, and she gets in a position where she actually wants to go into an engagement, I'm going to uh, really put the hurt on Sonya. I'm just waiting for her to engage. Like, be sparingly uh, using your polymorph. Make sure you use it in situations where it actually matters. Um, a lot of people have been picking up uh, Peekaboo. I really like Unstable Anomaly. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like the idea of uh, pigs blowing up. I'm not going to lie. Um, I know, PETA and all that stuff. Uh, let's head up here. Let's hop on Nova. Sit Z, walk forward. Keeping the damage out. I just like the idea of like turning someone into a polymorph and they explode a little bit and do damage. Also, I just like being aggressive on everything I do. It's just it's the way of life, man. Stay in your Rainer so I can keep procking that cooldown that I got at level 1. Usually on bigger maps, you'll be using phase shift a little bit more. Um, I need to move here, because Sonya could potentially kill me. There it is. Oh, I might just die here. I might be dead already. Looks like I uh, got wrecked there. I'm going to teleport up to um, Rainer as soon as I can spawn. Oh no, Jimmy! Run! Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn up. One of the small tricks that you can learn, we haven't had to use it in this battleground quite yet, is if you're low on mana or health as Brightwing, feel free to back home and just shift Q up your uh, your phase shift. Sync to scenario where you can help your teammate. With uh, your full mana bars. Like, mana is so important on Brightwing. Uh oh. No, Abby! Wow. That sucks, man. I feel bad for that worm. I've been there before. Just gonna go ahead and keep uh, Yaz on them nice and healed up, just staying near them, do whatever I can to dance around. <coughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We shouldn't fight this. We should definitely be. What are we playing against? We can push. We have a Gaz though. Although it looks like my teammates wanna go ham. So we're actually gonna get ready for this. I'm gonna go straight on Rainer, and then we're gonna turn around and try and help out with Sonya, because Nova's in a position to go for the fight. I need to be polymorph in that, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. Nova is not attacking anyone! Okay, this was a weird engagement. Wow. Okay, so, lesson learned. I will not be trusting said Nova. Pretty sure I'm dead there. Um, we're gonna grab Phase Shield. This is one of the abilities that Ayakona was using at the America Championship that, really, he'd be in the middle of a team fight and he would just straight up drop his Z and jump on whoever he needed to help and give them a shield right away. Alright, I'm gonna stay with Jimmy here. Um, because Nova seems afraid to use her abilities, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and head down here. And just stay with Jimmy, and we're gonna help kill this stuff off. Um, on this map, by the way, if you have more skills, you usually want to push. Right now it's 56 to 44, so it doesn't really matter. I did want to push and go with Gazlo up here, but we did have the engagement. Um, so we kind of ruined our potential to really push down the top lane and get that fort. Gazlo, man, can be quite a, uh, a positive force in pushing down towers. We're only about half a level behind though, not doing too bad. And we do have Asthma Dunk, so I'm going to let my teammates know. Hey team! I'd like to push on next mines. <coughs> Clutch Gazelle, he's okay. Alright, we're actually... are we winning this trade? I think we won the trade. We barely won the trade. And now we're going top. I'm gonna go help out Gazelle and them. Let Asmoda push by himself, mine him, damage down, dancing around, try to get some auto attacks in. I don't know if we can get this kill. I just got stuck here. Sneak out. Oh, Sonya with the aggression again. Like, she used a slam, or she used her Q, and then she auto attacked and walked away. If she had slammed, I would have probably morphed. Uh oh. Here's the Polymorph. Good thing we saved the Polymorph. Now we get to save Nova for it. Oh god, I'm gonna die though! Oh my gosh! Jimmy didn't have a Q? Wow. So I'm playing a little aggressive. Maybe I'll pull back a little bit. 
Uh, they are now 10, so that's our next goal is to get 10. Oh, I think Asmodan died as well. What up? How come you didn't notice, man? I teleported him in the early game. Um, yeah. So we just need to get some damage out and we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Listen yep, let's get 10 real quick. We'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess he wants me to teleport to him more often. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and keep pushing top. We need to get 10. We can't go down. Nova. Maybe we can. Nova, can you get this? Come on. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Nova. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, blow him up. Let's go. The life. The life. I'm going to give her a, spook, or a speed boost here. That's one thing about Pixie Dust. It doesn't give you speed. Oh, come on, Nova. Yes. We're legends. We're grabbing Blink Kill. I love Blink Kill, person or Blink Kill personally. Because I love the ability to get people out of position. And you'll see it here. Oh, God. Well, most people are out of position that are on my team. Let's try and keep her alive. The heal isn't the greatest thing in the world. Focus on Tychus. All right, here we go. Get out of here. Triple tap. Nice. It's a decent heal, but it's not like this huge burst that's going to really help out in a team fight. That is not what I wanted. Um... The real power is the ability to really just put people out of position. Um, give that shield real quick. I got Polymorph up a two. Hang on, I gotta really focus on this fight. It's super difficult at the moment. Oh, team! I wish I had Blink Kill. I don't, but I might be able to get out. <sighs> if he has a grenade, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm gonna blink to Nova. Oh, we, we dodged a grenade. Alright, highlight. Sick life. Woof! Okay, so Blink Kill, again, sorry, we're gonna fight like crazy, is it gives a decent amount of healing. What is it? It's 295, which, eh, that's alright. That's right. I believe that's one tick on a usual Rhaegar, or, uh, Rhaegar Ancestor Healing. Or not Ancestor Healing, uh, Chain Healing. Um, but the real major issue is, again, being able to dodge skill shots that are being thrown your way, as well as really just have people kind of going for an all in engagement on you, and you just straight up. Uh, blink away and get into situations where you suddenly have a 2v1 for like one or two seconds here. We need to go up here and fight as possible. Alright. Damage out. I'm gonna jump over here. This the zebra is getting some damage in like crazy, but only hit one person, so it wasn't the greatest. Try to lead your uh, Qs when you can. Pretty helpful, actually. I'm gonna apply more of this. And you can see how Sonya or Illwood and heroes with melee abilities really just can't do tilting too crazy, right? Um, just because the moment they walk in and they get polymorphed, they're in that duration for a long time. What is it here? It's at 1.5 seconds, which that's like two, maybe three slams if Asanya's playing correctly. So again, wait for those key opportunities. Make sure they're fully engaged and go from there. Gaz defend, rest push. That's an okay thing here. I prefer Asmin to defend because he has a range way of dealing with that. And Gazzle could potentially be picked off, but we're okay. Not too bad. Alright, let's keep moving forward. We're going to head for this fort up here. If we trade out a fort here and get 13, we'll be alright. This guy went a little, a little too aggressive. I'm trying to body lock him here. And if I get in trouble, I can blink out. See, like this. Oh, maybe I can blink out. Team! Thank you! Oh god, still in trouble. Nice, nice dunk. Oh god. Oof! Good job, team! Barely living. We're going to go ahead and heal real quick. The uh, next major thing that people are enjoying very much is Shield Dust. Another thing that Iacona picked up at the America's Championship. We'll shift Q this up. Um, it reduces ability damage taken by 50%, and that is actually additive. So you can take Illidan Spell Shield, for instance, and actually join the two together and almost negate about 75%. This poor Sonya. 75% of ability damage coming in um, if you combine those two together. So really. Very strong talent, one that you're seeing a lot used by Cognitive uh, at the American Championship, and one that, now that I've seen it in use, I love so much, right? Definitely a very strong ability. Okay, so now we're starting to get in situations here where our teammates are being a little aggressive. We don't have Gazlo, he's in the bottom lane dealing against Bot Rhaegar. All I want to do here is make sure Nova doesn't get in a position here where she dies. Okay, she's safe, and now I can start teleporting away. Let's get out of the area. And again, I'm just going to Rainer constantly, because Rainer, I've been watching his play here, 
And he's getting his auto attacks in. He's doing the damage I need him to do. And that's good. So I'm going to support him and help him carry us to victory. I'll help my other teammates when I can. But Mr. The Donkey 54, or That Donkey 54, is my number one priority. And I always want to be using my Polymorph on this Tychus, but he's never getting a situation where it's like super needed. You can stop that channel just by Polymorph and like see you can do it here instantly. No channel here for Tychus on the overkill. Alright, we're going to be wanting to get to 16 pretty soon here. I'm going to try and get them out of position. See them looking for me? He's going to blink to my teammate. That actually gave them just enough room where they could breathe and get away, because two of them kind of kind of hovered over here. They were trying to zone me out, and I just got to blink in. Really easy. The cooldown comes up pretty quickly. It's a 10 second charge cooldown, I believe, and you can keep a total of two stacks at all times. It used to be three, I believe, uh, but that got nerfed. It's a little bit too strong. Fly more from here. Boom. Nice Asmo dunk, Mr. Asmo Dan, coming in on Nova. Wow, poor Rhaegar. No! We lost that Donkey 54! Rip. We lose. It's over. He's the carry, man. Alright, let's get in here. We are now 16. So you have two things that you can do here at 16 that I'm a fan of. Uh, Polymorph makes enemies vulnerable. This is usually what I go with in coordinated teams. However, uh, in quick match Hero League, Sometimes you don't have the best coordination in the world. And that's just become just because you guys aren't on voice, right? Like it's hard to know when your teammates are gonna go in and when they're not gonna go in. So I choose the extra duration. Just for the ability to keep someone out of the fight a little bit longer than normal. We should actually get out of here and let waste Tychus' uh Odin here. That's sometimes the best way to deal with Tychus, by the way. You can either go for a full on engage. Um, and let's go ahead and hang this guy. You can go for a full and engage when he uses Odin and blow him up, or you just run away from his ability and waste out the wait out the duration. If you don't have a huge contestant point, like you have to get like a dragon or something at that point, you don't have to actually fully engage Odin, and he won't be able to chase you down that well unless he has team with CC. So choose those two options, make a decision immediately, and then get out of the fight if you can. Alright, we're gonna move here. We're gonna wait for the Zebra to try and do something dumb, and then we'll polymorph him. Don't even need to. Just saving it. We can heal through all this. I'm gonna start this now. I'm gonna stay near Thad Donkey 54. He has returned to us. Uh, Nova's top lane. I'm looking at her in case I have to polymorph to her. Or not polymorph, uh, phase shift. I'm here, let's do it. Let's go. Damage out. I'm gonna blink as I can here. That triple tap, though. You can also blink to minions if you need be. Can't phase shift, but you can blink heal. Nova died already. May have been my fault because I went in to help her. But, to be fair, I think we should have all been together trying to get the uh, golem. Luckily, our teammate did finish that off. Off hush top, in my opinion. Don't have to use our polymorph. That overkill is out of range for us to have to deal with it. I feel bad for the opposing team, man. The Rhaegar uh, is not here. You're gonna D top and PS to you. Here's one of the major things about uh, Brightwing is having this global presence available to you allows you to do things like this. You're able to kind of just sit here and soak, watch your teammates if need be, and then move in. Gazel's kind of defending. I don't think he needs to, but it happens. And while you're and I say soak because you're not gonna push his lane back. Look at it. We're barely doing anything here. Come in. No about. Uh, I'm watching Raynor. Nice. We got the keep, and I think we're going to defend our keep, so. Let's stay over here. I'm trying again. I'm trying to get caught. They are actually just straight up ignoring me. Like, I want Sonya to engage on me. He's straight up ignoring me, though, for some reason. Wow. Okay, then. The moment they engage on you, just blink away. Get their attention to be focusing on you. Yeah. We do have um, a, an Asmodan pushing the bottom. I'm gonna go join him real quick and go for the uh, full push. Not sure why he's pushing bottom. This is one of those maps that's actually very benef beneficial for you to actually just kind of just push the bottom lane or the lane that your golem's in. Um, you don't have to push the bottom lane at all. 
Play Tychus! Alright, I didn't get out of here. I'm pretty low on HP. We'll come here and help out with this, and then we'll start back in the moment we finish it off. Start back in right before you kill the last giant with the last auto tick, and you will get back home no matter what, and you will also pick up the camps. Let's see. Top lane is pushing pretty well. Bottom lane is doing pretty hot. Let's go ahead and head down there. Um, so, you have a couple of things to pick up. Against melee assassins, I pick up Rewind, like Illidan. That way you can just completely nullify them in the late game. But, um, we're going to go ahead and pick up... Now let's do Rewind, just so I can show you double polymorph. I was thinking about Storm Shield, just because I want to keep Nova and Rainer alive, potentially, if they're about to get burst, and that extra shield it could be very, very helpful at the last second. But, double Rewind's fun. And very hard to deal with. Because remember, we grabbed that talent, Greater Polymorph, that increased the duration by one second, so it is now 2.5 seconds. I could potentially have someone Polymorph for a total of 5 seconds. Look at this. She's Polymorphed that entire duration of the fight. Completely nullified, can't get away. Super annoying. Super annoying for her. We gotta watch out for this guy up here. I'm gonna walk towards him. Oh, I'm gonna try and keep you alive. I'm gonna try to. Nope, couldn't do it. Go up here, Polymorph. We're gonna lead our Q here and go for the full damage. Beautiful, Le Nova. Where's our Jimmy at? Yo, Jimmy, where you be? Alright. Hmm. We should go down to the shrines, and I'm going to do so that actually. Not shrines, Golem Scout. I can't talk about anything today. What's this? This is. We're gonna call this, uh. I don't know. We're gonna call him an Ogre. Why not, man? Call him anything else wrong today. We're down killing the Ogres right now. Boom. Uh, so we're in a good position. We actually have full map control. We have Nova floating around, doing Nova things. And we're getting all of these skulls, which, being at level 20, for the most part, it's going to be hard for them to come down here and do anything. Seeds, bro. What? Even he's calling them wrong. I like ogres. Ogres are better. So this is kind of risky by me. I didn't see anyone up here in the top lane. I've been keeping that my eye on that the entire time. So I assume that I'm safe heading over here. And I am, especially with uh, Le Nova showing up for the damage. Look at that. Face hey, Nova. Just gonna body block if I can. We body block the bot. We're gods. Okay, we should go kill this off, and then we just win the game here. And I'm looking at Asmodan. I'm looking at Nova in case I get in trouble. I'm coming in. I got you, girl. Let's go. That Asmodan. Wow, we just got walled. Oh my god, did she get it? Wow, Nova OP! So skilled. Okay, let's head down here. We don't need to be doing in this, by the way. The main goal that we should have done is just get the goal and then run from there, but we have uh, aggressive teammates, so we'll support them whenever we can. Doo -doo -doo. Goal will spawn here in the top lane. All we gotta do is push the top down. We should be Gucci. Oh god, is he still fighting us? Come on in. Let's do it. You're welcome. Glad I was here. I teleported for him, remember? Clear this up. And we're pretty good on mana. We just need to go ahead and keep pushing top. Nova is mildly correct in her early GG. Game is potentially over here as long as we don't get five wiped. But you know, it happens. Come on. Go ahead and heal her up or him up. Towers, stuff like that. Let's head top. Where is the Revenant Spirit? It's over there. So I'm actually going to blink over here. Oh, wait, he's out of position. I can't. Can't even stop him. Can't even stop him, dude. That's OP. Alright, and I spread out. We end the game. So, Brightwing just off the top. Global presence, ability to really mitigate a lot of damage. Great against melee characters like Sonya, Illidan. Kerrigan is great as well. Oh my gosh, against Kerrigan? When she ravages in to do her combo, right when she ravages, she has this like slight frame where you can drop the polymorph and it completely nullifies her entire combo and she just dies if your teammates even right click her once. So keep an eye out for that. Try to utilize it when you can. Um, make sure that you're always near teammates, healing them up and really just helping out and allowing them to help you win the game. While you do need a poke, like I mentioned in the early game, you never want to put yourself in a situation where you're trying to get kills. You're trying to bait them out of position, and you're trying to set your teammates up to really apply the damage where it's needed. 
Okay, guys, good luck and enjoy Brightwing. We'll get out more videos in the future.